Namaste and welcome to our continuing series, Fine Poetry. Today, Poems by William Blake, Part 1. A Poison Tree I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not, my wrath did grow. And I watered it in fears, night and morning with my tears. And I sunned it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wiles. And it grew both day and night, till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and he knew that it was mine. And into my garden stole, when the night had veiled the pole. In the morning, glad I see my foe outstretched beneath the tree. Auguries of Innocence To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. A robin redbreast in a cage puts all heaven in a rage. A dove house filled with doves and pigeons shudders hell through all its regions. A dog starved at his master's gate predicts the ruin of the state. A horse misused upon the road calls to heaven for human blood. Each outcry of the hunted hare, a fiber from the brain does tear. A skylark wounded in the wing, a cherubim does cease to sing. The game cock clipped and armed for fight, does the rising sun affright. Every wolf's and lion's howl raises from hell a human soul. The wild deer wandering here and there keeps the human soul from care. The lamb misused breeds public strife and yet forgives the butcher's knife. The bat that flits at close of eve has left the brain that won't believe. The owl that calls upon the night speaks the unbeliever's fright. He who shall hurt the little wren shall never be beloved by men. He who the ox to wrath has moved shall never be by woman loved. The wanton boy that kills the fly shall feel the spider's enmity. He who torments the chafer's sprite weaves a bower in endless night. The caterpillar on the leaf repeats to thee thy mother's grief. Kill not the moth nor butterfly, for the last judgment draweth nigh. He who shall train the horse to war shall never pass the polar bar. The beggar's dog and widow's cat, feed them and thou wilt grow fat. The gnat that sings his summer song, poison gets from slander's tongue. The poison of the snake and newt is the sweat of envy's foot. The poison of the honeybee is the artist's Jealousy, the prince's robes and beggar's rags are toadstools on the miser's bags. A truth that's told with bad intent beats all the lies you can invent. It is right, it should be so. Man was made for joy and woe. And when this we rightly know, through the world we safely go. Joy 
and woe are woven fine, a clothing for the soul divine. Under every grief and pine runs a joy with silken twine. The babe is more than swaddling bands throughout all these human lands. Tools were made and born were hands. Every farmer understands. Every tear from every eye becomes a babe in eternity. This is caught by females bright and returned to its own delight. The bleat, the bark, bellow and roar are waves that beat on heaven's shore. The babe that weeps the rod beneath writes revenge in realms of death. The beggar's rags fluttering in air does to rags the heavens tear. The soldier armed with sword and gun palsied strikes the summer sun. The poor man's farthing is worth more than all the gold on Afric's shore. One might wrung from the laborer's hands shall buy and sell the miser's lands. Or if protected from on high, does that whole nation sell and buy? He who mocks the infant's faith shall be mocked in age and death. He who shall teach the child to doubt, the rotting grave shall ne'er get out. He who respects the infant's faith triumphs over hell and death. The child's toys and the old man's reasons are the fruits of the two seasons. The questioner who sits so sly shall never know how to reply. He who replies to words of doubt doth put the light of knowledge out. The strongest poison ever known came from Caesar's laurel crown. Naught can deform the human race like the armor's iron brace. When gold and gems adorn the plow, to peaceful arts shall envy bow. A riddle or the cricket's cry is to doubt a fit reply. The emmet's inch and eagle's mile make lame philosophy to smile. He who doubts from what he sees will ne'er believe do what you please. If the sun and moon should doubt, they'd immediately go out. To be in a passion you good may do, but no good if a passion is in you. The whore and gambler, by the state licensed, build that nation's fate. The harlots cry from street to street, shall weave old England's winding sheet. The winners shout, the losers curse, dance before dead England's hearse. Every night and every morn, some to misery are born. Every morn and every night, some are born to sweet delight. Some are born to sweet delight. Some are born to endless night. We are led to believe a lie when we see not through the eye which was born in a night to perish in a night when the soul slept in beams of light. God appears and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in the night. But does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day? The tiger, 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 burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? 
In what distant deeps or skies Burnt the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare he aspire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder and what art Could twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart began to beat, what dread hand and what dread feet? What the hammer, what the chain? In what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what dread grasp dare its deadly terrors clasp?